January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, and based on a study, people really do need to be more aware of this. This is so important. According to the study, late-stage cervical cancer cases appear to be on the rise. So we're bringing in Dr. Frank McGeorge tonight to kind of explain exactly what we need to know so we all do not become part of that statistic. Exactly, Pam and Karen. You know, in years past, women were told to get annual pap smears. That's the test that looks for abnormal cells from the cervix that could indicate cancer. Well, somewhat more recently, the guidelines changed pap smears to every three years or even as far apart as every five years if it was also done with a test looking for HPV, which is the virus that causes over 90% of cervical cancers. Well, that change could actually be making it harder for women to remember when to get screened. It's sort of hard to count by threes, and um, it's very easy to kind of lose track of when your pap smear was. And our guidelines are such that if it's done one way, then it's a different, slightly different screening protocol. So, and I think that may be one of the issues that has kind of led to an identification of more advanced cervix cancer that we're seeing in the United States. For those unfamiliar, cervical cancer is cancer of the cells in the cervix, which is the lowest part of a woman's uterus. Early stages of cervical cancer don't usually involve symptoms and can be hard to detect, making routine pap smears extremely important. The test can help identify any abnormal cells. However, when symptoms do occur, they can include bleeding after sex, pelvic pain, and vaginal discharge that contains blood. Cervical cancer is preventable and is often the result of the virus HPV, a sexually transmitted infection. So testing for that is equally as important. The same goes for the HPV vaccine. Both men and women between the ages of 11 and 45 years old are eligible to get that. We developed a vaccine years ago, there's several on the market, that are extremely effective at preventing cancer. Um, in Australia, where uptake of vaccines are high, they're seeing a decrease in the amount of cervix cancer in that country. Now, the steepest annual rise in new cases of cervical cancer was actually seen in white women who, in fact, are significantly less likely to have had the HPV vaccine or to be screened. But overall, black women, especially those in their mid-50s to late 50s, have the highest disproportionate rate of cervical cancers. So when you say late stage cervical cancer, how late are we talking about? Yeah, so we're actually talking about cervical cancer that has already spread beyond the cervix. And that's really important because only about 17% of women diagnosed at that late stage are going to survive five years compared to 92% who survive when it has not spread to that degree. Wow, those statistics are scary. Yeah, they really are. important to catch it early. Thank, Thank you for you that time. information.